Hi, I'm Paul Tursley and this is a demo of PT Effect Search. You can use this script to easily search for effects throughout your project. Um, and in this new version, completely rewritten for CS4 and later, uh, you can also link effects together. Uh, so you can create cloned effects instances. So uh, one effect in your project can be used to control multiple copies of that effect throughout your project. So the uh, instructions for installing the script are included with the download. Um, I'm running on CS5 here, and I actually recommend not installing as a dockable panel on CS5. Uh, you can actually install either way, but there are some minor um, UI issues with the um, progress bars not updating properly if you run as a dockable panel. So uh, I'm, I've installed it in the scripts folder, and I'm going to uh, launch it from there. So um, here we have the script. Uh, there's uh, instructions. There are links to the page on ascripts.com, a bunch of search options, and uh, some more options down here, which we'll get to soon. So I've got a project, uh, dug out an old project, um, full of effects. And uh, so we're going to do a search here. And um, you've got options for searching in uh, all comps, current comp, project selection. Project selection would be uh, whatever you've got selected over there. Um, you can choose whether you're finding effects that are on or off, or built-in, or third-party effects, um, and sort by effect or layer. Um, but I'm just going to do a search for all the effects in my project. And it says here it's found 690 effects in 260 compositions. So, um, as you can see, that's pretty pretty fast. And here are all 690 effects uh, in, the, in the project, um, currently displayed in uh, alphabetical order. Um, we have uh, icons here showing uh, if the effects are turned on, uh, if the layers are turned on. We've got the effect name, the um, composition, the layer, uh, and also the in internal uh, match name, which is a kind of Adobe's kind of slightly hidden kind of built-in names for the effects. Um, and in fact, it's the match names which are what are used to sort the order, uh, because um, what this means is even if you renamed your effects, it will, they will still be grouped in with that type of effect because it's it's actually this column that's used to do the uh, alphabetical so, uh, sort. So uh, now this is kind of really useful if you've got maybe you've opened a project you've got missing effects and you want to find where they are, uh, or uh, you just there's kind of particular types of effects you want to uh, locate where they are. Uh, we have this option in the action menu, save search report, so we can save that. Uh, save that result to a text file uh, so you can refer back to that as a uh, reference. Um, or, uh, like I said, if you want to find specific effects, I could put in here blur and do a new search, and it said it's found 70, and these are all the different um, effects in the project with blur in their name. Um, and um, then we could um, select a bunch of effects and uh, turn the effects off. Um, turn them on, uh, or even uh, delete them. So, um, so that's uh, kind of looking through, searching through projects to uh, find effects, which is uh, a real, real godsend if you're trying to track down some uh, some effect somewhere. Um, and uh, so, but now I'm going to move on to the um, to the link effects uh, side, and um, I'm going to create a a new comp and um, create a solid and apply which we apply so um, fractal noise and um, levels so um, and then I'm going to uh, duplicate this this layer so we can see uh, what it looks like when uh, how, how you go about linking uh, effects together so um, one thing to be aware of is the um, the effect that you want to be the layer that you have the effects on that you want to be the controlling effect. Uh, you want to make sure it's got a unique um, layer name. So this is this is bad at the moment. Um, the uh, the links are created with expressions, and they 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 need to be able to uh, refer to the to the correct name. And if you've got name multiple uh, layers with the same name, it's not going to know which one to uh, look at. So. This is going to be my control layer, so I'm just going to call it something to make sure it's different. And um, so let's go back to the script and 
do a search. Now we can see here we've got the, um, the four effects and at the moment they're sorted by um, effect. Uh, as I said earlier they're sorted by the match name not the um, effect name which is why alphabetically that's a bit wrong because that's that's how they're being sorted but you can also sort by layer uh, in which case it will show you them as they are applied to each layer so we see there layer one and then layer two now notice as I select each of these layers it tells me how many of the properties are linkable um, now not all properties can be linked with expressions um, and some of the time it, it doesn't matter because uh, the properties that can't be linked aren't uh, properties that uh, that you that you need to be linked but uh, you will have to kind of experiment and find which effects work best for this um, so let's select the uh, fractal noise effect on the on the layer that we want to be the control layer and we're going to choose set control effect and then I'm going to select the other fractal noise effect and you could select uh, multiple fractal noise effects you can select all the effects wherever they are on your project uh, and then just choose uh, link selected effects and um, it says here one effect has been linked to the control effect and um, we can see here we've got layer markers showing these this is this layer has been used as a control layer and this layer is being used um, this layer uh, has uh, effects that are linked um, so uh, and if we in fact if we open this up you can see that um, on this linked effect there is a expression on all of the properties or all, the, all of the linkable properties uh, that refer back to the values on the control layer. So if I make a change on the control layer here um, you will see it update on both copies. So because uh, this layer it has um, effects that are the effect is linked to the one on the control layer. So let's do the same thing with levels. Now uh, levels it says here two of nine properties are linkable. That doesn't sound very good. And um, so I'll select the um, levels here and choose set control effect. Uh, and then select the other levels and link selected effects. Now if I change the um, change the control on the control levels, let's see what happens. Nothing. Well, nothing happens on the linked effect, and this is because unfortunately levels is uh, one of these effects that will not link well because the um, this histogram property is, a, is what's called a custom data value. Um, so unfortunately, levels doesn't work so well. In fact, the only things you can link on levels are, are these two uh, these two pull downs at the bottom, which you know is not very not very useful. So um, let's um, let's delete those. Uh, levels effects because uh, they're not very useful and um, let's apply but there is an alternative because uh, for levels and for some other there's kind of an alternative effect you can use and in this case levels individual controls is the one to use because uh, all the properties are uh, in such a way that they can be linked with expressions so um, in fact I've applied that to the wrong layer I want to apply this to the control layer okay so let's do a search and now we have this um, levels individual uh, controls here and I'm going to set that as the control effect now this time I'm not even going to uh, I haven't applied it to the other layer yet but I'm just going to select this other layer and I'm going to choose add to selected layers and what this will do is it will add a linked copy of the control effect to any selected layers uh, so that's another kind of quite handy way of applying linked effects throughout your uh, project, especially if you're wanting to apply them to layers that don't already have effects. So now um, we have uh, now if we change this uh, the uh, levels on this control layer, you can see that uh, the other layer matches. Uh, so uh, levels individual controls does work with um, with linked effects. So um, and then just to show you. Um, kind of that again uh, I could um, let's create another comp let's create a solid in here um, and um, I'm going to go back and select the uh, fractal noise on the control layer choose set control effect 
And then with this selected, I'm going to hit Add to Selected Layers. Um, then I'm going to choose the Control Levels, Set Control Effect, and Add to Selected Layers. And now that's added new linked copies in this comp. So if I go back to the, uh, if I, I'll drop that into the original comp, so there it is that uh, at the top. And uh, if we go back to the control layer and uh, make some changes, you can see that that's now that that um, those effects in a, in the pre comp are now also uh, linked. So you can link effects throughout your project. So um, that's the end of my demo for effects. So um, I hope you find it useful. Thanks.